15 minutes, now you don't touch the hour of 8 o'clock, you can see uh, Bolly Rhythm uh, behind my back, now Lego, Mata. And of course, traditionally, you guys know, uh, say every Wednesday from this very time uh, to the hour of 9, they're about to do this talk, everything we guys do with the law. And like they say, ignorance of the law, even at this moment, where everything they tight, kind of, you know, be excused, okay? But Barista has been doing more of uh, questions and answers, you know, for a while now. But Barista talks, okay, we are entering something new. You understand? And for me, now, like face off between property matter and legal matter. <laughs> property, okay, yes, property matter and legal matter. Like, we are talking about property. And they were talking about there's legal, there's marriage, and there is property. Right, sir? So you are putting three things. It's like you are joining all our matters together right. money matter. Party matter and legal matter. Legal matter. Yes, sir. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Good morning, everyone. Wherever you are watching me, thank you very much. Um, today, um, we have to kind of put to rest that question and answer on COVID-19 legal matter. Uh, but if you still want to ask questions when the time comes, you can say us. I will still tolerate. But I just want to return to the topic we are having. Uh, some of us who are following me very well, remember that we have been talking about re marriage revisited some time ago before we went on this COVID um, uh, break or lockdown. And that has to do with um, questions that arise or many questions I've been receiving on issue of who owns property in marriage, particularly when husband and wife are together, who owns uh, a property. Um, I've had no, not even when they are divorced. Yes, when they are divorced, when they are married, all of it together because many people, uh, you find a situation whereby uh, people are afraid, okay, uh, you know, I've had people call me and say, uh, why should I marry legally, speaking, uh, because I heard that if I marry legally, my wife will own all my property yeah. in case of divorce, mm -hmm. I don't want that and things like that. Does and, that mm, happen in Nigeria? Is it applicable to our custom? No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. See, that's why you have to be very careful about the difference between the custom and the legal aspect. Uh, under the custom, um, if you marry under the custom truly, um, the wife, most customs, especially mm. few, the wife is at a disadvantage mm. uh, because in most customs, the primary beneficiary of of um, the man's property mm. are usually the relatives first and foremost, not necessarily the children first and foremost. Uh, yes, notionally, is saying I say and the children get them, mm. but when the man or mm. so, mm. what usually happen? We say the family, the family go say why we are trying to uh, uh, divide or to see that equality is done, mm. or they are doing equitably, they go to take something we belong to, we not belong to them. And most times the children don't feel talk because they go talk to them, my brother. And I will be the first mm. line of, mm. you know. So that's why, because when, when men they ask me that question, um, it's a case of tail or head, you know win. Mm. Because we're talking about when you are no longer there, or when you are there. So more or less, there's a way you have to look at it, and I want, maybe when I say, I will turn her head, you know, when, uh, make it not get me wrong, but I'll explain that very well for you. Uh, most culture, okay, in case of divorce, let's assume in case of divorce, um, most culture, the wife goes, probably the only thing she takes is just her load. Hmm. In most culture in Nigeria, the Nothing else yeah, for her. Nothing else. The children, even self, sometimes they will go with her, hmm. you know, and that's why, and there's intervention of customary courts. Customary court will come to your court, say, okay, instead of going by your culture, we'll be say, uh, sometimes law, the, court, the, the law, the way we, the lawyers, it was to say, is they contrary to good equity, good conscience, mm. uh, uh, natural justice, mm. equity, and good conscience. Mm. Say, you know, how can you say, may the woman not carry the children go? Mm. Mm? That's some culture. And in some culture, now the woman get the children. Now the woman get the children, so that's some culture. So it not be even the man. So that, um, you know, if the woman carry a pregnancy of a man to another man's house, mm. the, it doesn't matter whether the other man is the owner, as long as that, that, that wife is the owner of the children, so it's some culture. So you get variation 
of culture. Okay. And that's why I also affect the issue of who, who get property in case of anything. Mm. So that's why I, I, I want to talk about the fact that people, they ask me, why should I marry? The woman will say, I want to marry legally mm. and I want to do this one. So I, I'll make I just give uh, some things. I, I want to talk about one, two, a, a number of cases. I will use this week and probably next week to do. There's a case uh, that was judged in uh, 20, 20, 2002. That's the case of a man and a woman called Akimboni, versus Akimboni. You know, in that case, uh, they had two, four children together. They married in 1968. Mm. They had four children together. And then after a while, the man go talk, tell the good court, court say he won't, nobody say he won't even divorce because mm -hmm. some of you don't listen to me very well. There's a difference between divorce and nullity of marriage. There's a difference between divorce and nullity of marriage. Divorce now, two of us don't marry. Mm -hmm. We no one marry again. And the old things, the old things don't do very well. Mm -hmm. We marry properly. Mm -hmm. We we'll do the necessary things properly so that we are married. That is when it's called divorce. So two of us won't go a separate way. But when it comes to nullity of marriage, it like I say, like, say for instance, um, we no get the necessary uh, consent. Let's say the, the girl, mm. when he married, mm. was like 18. Mm. And then me, I'd be like maybe 21 or whatever. And the law says that for a child, when a girl is under, 18 or there about or yeah. there, there must be parental consent obtained hmm. for legal marriage. Of course, probably they didn't even marry by paying by price mm. and things like that. They just went to the registry yeah. and then forge and say, hmm. okay, I'm old enough and what have you. Now, that forgery by itself is saying that that marriage was not supposed to have held. So indeed, In the, the marriage did not hold. Mm. So even though it looked as if yeah, it married, held. Yeah. So if later any of them won't say they won't divorce, there's nothing to divorce hmm. because, because there was no marriage. There was no marriage. So in this case, these people had four children. Hmm. They don't get four children. So the man go call say, look, uh, I want you to annul this marriage. So the woman can't cross file appeal hmm. and cross petition. Say no, uh, dissolve this marriage. And when you dissolve this marriage, so that don't say. I want to annul, dissolve them by way of uh, divorce. Mm. And when you do that, um, this house we will do. Mm. Now, me and him get this house. Now, me and me get this house. Why so? Because now, actually, now my money, it take build the house. But I mean, now me really get the house. Now me buy the land, buy everything. But because we need arm. Um, to collect loan, we need this man to collect loan from his cooperative. And the cooperative will not allow us to have joint ownership. Mm. So it has to be somebody's name. It has so to be the name of their name. member. Mm. So we can't use a in name, name to obtain that loan from the cooperative. And I don't, I mean, they pay back that loan. Mm. Eh? Of course, now you go get loan from the cooperative, oh, come put them, come build this house. Mm. But now me, me they, build, mm. they build back. They give him back that money. So mm. as they pay him, now in they pay him. They pay him for his name, but now me they give him the money. And the court say, so, so the court say, uh, say it can't ask court, court, make you give me the house. Give me the children. Give me the house. Try and make it go. Of course, court can't go say, there was no evidence. Oh. Say Naim, in that sense. Say Naim gets that, uh, bring that money. And since it was the man himself, that looks as if you want to build the whole house, then that woman cannot legitimately claim, claim ownership. Of the house. And make, make sure they understand when they talk well, well, uh, so that the woman cannot claim ownership. But the judge say the woman and her children can stay in the house hmm. to live there, but nobody say to claim say ownership. The house. So what I'm trying to say is that it's not in all cases that you will say that because you marry by reason of... Uh, um, uh, go to registry, registry. and marry. Marry you know, you under the law. You know the marry. So because of that, your wife will own everything. Of course, there are some things that you can co-share. Are you getting me? Particularly when, um, when, maybe after, you know, when you uh, there's um, 
all of the past spouses go away, pass away without a will, you know. And by default, there's a way that God is okay. Maybe the widow, the woman, or the widower, the man will survive the, the mm -hmm. dead spouse, mm -hmm. go take about one third, one third of the estate of the woman, mm -hmm. you know, as you know, part of his own mm -hmm. benefit. But that is by default. But if the woman or the man, before him go, um, what belongs to him, he can write a will, say, uh, this is not the way I want this thing to go. This is not the way I want them to go. It's very possible. So you have seen women who write a will saying that that property will na, 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 get them. And this is how I want it for my daughter or my son and things like that. So it's, it's, a, it's a very... Sorry, sir, I'm sorry. Uh, if, if a man dies without a will mm. and he married under the law, mm. now... Is it that the wife becomes an automatic owner of everything in the no, no, or mm, go ahead. the family members can lay claim to it? Okay, that, that, that's a very good question because you see, that, that's why regardless of um, whether you are under uh, marriage, under the law, mm. I be say under tradition. The thing we say, the, the best thing now, once you're a man, once you're married, the best thing is that to, you know, mentally put your house in order and to soon know that it's not a matter of whether you, are, you can die at 1,900, mm. but put your hands in the lights. Okay. Because by reason of your marriage, legally speaking, really legally mm. speaking, your relatives, if you do, like say, like say you marry under the law, mm. you marry, say, under the, uh, the law, you go to the registry, get everything done. By reason of that marriage, you and your spouse, you are supposed to be exclusive mm. In that sense, it's a family thing. Mm. You have the right to decide what you want. So, if by chance, while you are alive, you can write a will to say, This is where I want my property to be done. Okay. But if you do not write a will, then to that extent, by default, by default, your spouse will take a third. But what usually happens is that um, relatives will come in, particularly when the woman by culture is supposed to be mourning. I remember awesome. one of one of my uh, mentors, who is a woman, told me a story about how a, a bosom friend who was from a particular area of the country. You know, um, her husband was from a particular area of the country. The woman was from another area of the country. Mm -hmm. When the woman died, she was just moaning, crying, crying. She said that my men mentor, that woman, said she ran to the woman's house and quickly entered her room. He said she just broke protocol. Mm -hmm to start packing every mm. document that she could pack. Mm. So she packed everything and kept it. I said, look, uh, before, because he said before, because she will, she'll be crying when other people will run, come now, the relative of the woman or the man will come. Mm. And before you know, they will have packed everything and the woman will be at their mercy. Mm. So she said she had to pack everything, put them somewhere. He said, guess what? When the relatives of the man came, instead of crying, that the first thing they were looking for is asking hmm. the crying woman, yeah. where are the documents of his house, hmm. the document of his cars, the document of that. And the woman really said she didn't know. Hmm. And as at that time, she didn't know that her friend I had packed to pack them hmm. and things like that. So you have a lot of things. You have even um, um, siblings of wife who once the, 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 their, their sister dies, they will run to the house of the husband to go and pack what they believe belong to the sister. Mm. So it's very possible. Okay, so I think we'll pick up from that when we return. We mm. need to go for a quick break. When we come back, it'll be time for us to open our phone lines and um, ask your questions. And Barry will continue from where we stop. Stick around with us. We'll be right back. Well, I mean, we talk, say, ignorance of the law. No excuse. excuse. If my name is for property, my child don't be take that thing. But, but I get I get one question. Now, if person die now and he puts in wife or he puts any of his relative as next. Ignorance of the law, no be excuse, oh. That's now why we get one of Bonga program. Where we they call legal matter on top web TV. Okay, so just in case you get any to go one make the word sabi. Hurry down to all of those numbers who have been called out. Uh call Faith, call Rebecca, call Stella. 
And guess what? Your market don't blow once you advertise with us on top. Legal matter on top for TV. So, guys, uh, of course, uh, you don't see the time already. It's time for us to open the phone lines this morning. Um, feel free when they talk about legal sites of marriage and properties. You know, and uh, before I went on that break, I've been asked by Rista, say, if a man dies without a will, and he may marry under the law, who takes who takes over the property? She not the wife or not the family members. Because I've seen different situations where we say the man marry under the law and he be mud without a we and the family members came from nowhere and they took over everything where the man get. The woman was left with nothing. All right, it was on that before we went. So guys, call the number 08173147589 and for 081054 and I said, you're still on the case. You're actually yeah. writing the story uh, yeah. case before. So, so, so the, 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 the point I'm trying to make is that you have to understand that when it comes to this, uh, it, it, you know, what's, what's limited ask about whether it is possible on that? Yes, it's very possible that the family relatives can come, um, particularly when the man is not. I mean, and sometimes some men that have asked me questions, you need to ask yourself. Why are my people insisting that I should not marry under the law? Hmm. Sometimes it's their own selfish reasons. They believe that their wife, their wife is a competitor. Hmm. You know, I mean, there could be a lot of reasons. I mean, get different manner of reasons where people say they cannot marry. But yes, truly, it's only under the um, uh, no. legal marriage mm. that your wife can can make a claim to mm. say that um, um, I'm entitled to this and that really, because of contribution or what have you. Um, under the customary marriage, more or less, it's like, no matter, it's expected that your wife would contribute to the making of that thing happen. Mm. And when he, makes, when he contributes to the making of that thing happen, when it, came, when it comes with divorce, she, ha she has to go mm. without nothing because um, it, it was part of the deal of that custom that she contributes to you or whatever she comes in with. And then when you are going, it's about to go. She goes empty and then. But remember, what I always say that, as much as that might pay you, remember I say to the police daughter. So, hmm. so even if it looks as if... Oh, we get Bridget mm. from Cross River. Bridget, good morning. Good morning, ma. How are you doing today? Mm. I'm fine. This is my first time calling. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home. Thank you. All right, so do you have questions for Barista or you want to contribute? Yes. All right. I, my husband. Okay. Uh huh. So he's he. We are married legally. We married traditional and white, but mm. we've not done registration on. So he put the sister as a nest of king. Mm. So I was like telling him to change it because we have two daughters. Mm. For him to put our daughter or me mm. as a nest of king. So he was like. Saying I'm forcing him, so I don't really know what to do again. Yeah, um, thank you very much. Um, you, you just you just have to try and press it on him without mm. necessarily making it as if um, you yeah, become. You uh, but you, you, have, you, have, you have to because um, it's amazing how many people expose their family to a lot of problem because of this issue of next of kin. Next of kin does not necessarily mean that the person has to chop the money, you know. But next of kin means that. Legally speaking, the connection between um, that man's entitlement, you know, and that man's family mm. is that next of kin. Meaning that when they want to release the thing, they don't see they, that is the next of kin that they will call to come and sign the papers. Of course, the next of kin is supposed to hold that thing in trust or to go and give it to the people that are supposed to use it. But in many instances, mm. the next of kin assume. Yeah, the, that is the owner yeah. of the thing. Mm. And they don't even discuss fully. So it's, it's something that you have to understand that can your children be fighting that your sister when that time comes? Because most times, even your sister has other, your other siblings to you know, answer to. There will be a lot of decision because once it's your sister that is the next of kin, there will be your brothers and your other siblings who rally around her to see that it's like, you know, let's get, you know, because the assumption is that next of kin is the owner of the thing. Mm. So, and next of kin is not the owner, but next of kin is the one that the... More like in charge. The one that they will call. Mm. 
the one that has to be called. Mm -hmm. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? I have a case just similar to what you are saying. A man that married a woman, married a woman, the woman died, mm -hmm. but that, that woman was the next of kin in that first marriage. Guess what? Oh. The man married another wife, mm -hmm. and the wife that he married was bearing the same name as the first wife. It's just that the in middle initial that was different. In fact, I think the middle initial also the same thing. Yes, Sammy. But it was different first name, different middle name, but son name, same son name. Now, that man died. And they were calling the new wife the to come and do the next of kin. It was just, no, I'm not next of kin. Because, of the name. because name and, and everything, I'm not next of kin. And in the meantime, because the, us, the husband's people had known that that name was next of kin, they, didn't, they, didn't, they thought it was a new wife. Mm. So they've been harassing the new wife to go and get the entitlement of their, child, of their son mm. and bring it to them. Okay, so the, the women are calling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ellen. Hello, Ellen. Ellen. Yeah, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. All right, good to have you on the show. Please go on. Uh, I want to ask something. All right. Mm. Yes, I'm hearing you. Right. Uh, I want to ask, if somebody got married, mm. and maybe the marriage that he got into, make I use PJ now. Abi? Mm. <laughs> so, the person married, mm. eh? Mm. And the man get children before. Mm. So when the man say he won't marry again, mm. he can't go marry. After when he won't marry, he tell the woman say he know he get children. The woman get to understand say he get children. Mm. And he say he go he go do court marriage, mm. but not be wife wedding. Mm. But later on, I come discover say be like say court marriage get many. Issue. Mm. So you can't say you know go do court marriage again. Mm. So you only do the tradition. Mm. So I will go take do that kind of issue. Okay. As far as as far in fact, thank you very much for that my, my, uh, question, um, Ellen, because I also answered the question of um, our first caller. Mm. Because you see, um, when you are not legally mm. married, you are bound by the dictate of the custom. Mm. And prim the principal custom will guide you now the custom of the man, mm. not the custom of the woman. Because in Africa or Nigerian culture, now the man get the marriage. Nobody the woman get the marriage. Uh, so that's the way it is. So um, in that sense, um, it, it will be like... like uh, hello, are you hearing me? Like, yes, I'm hearing you. Uh. Like the first wife, uh. she did. So and that... Bed. You don't divorce him. Yeah, that one, he say he divorce him. Okay. He say. He say. He say. He say. He say. That's what he say. Uh -huh. So that's that's why you have to understand that that you you know for 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 inside um, custom custom marriage, you get as you go, you go do the divorce, and if that divorce never do that way, eh, the woman still go be your husband, your wife, one way or the other, and. Even if say the husband, the the wife, the, husband, the woman don't come out, go go marry somebody else, the children of that yeah. wife, mm. you know, are still entitled to the property of that of that mm. man. Betty, so, but the woman never marry another one. Betty, and so that means yeah. more more or less. Betty, they the, the name of the man. More or less, they are still together. They are still together. More or less, technically speaking. They, they may not be. They may not be married in that another sense. Of their body, you know. They can get their Let's together. see if it's a woman again. The women okay. are popping in. <laughs> oh, it's a man this time. Godwin, good morning. Good morning, Godwin. Yeah, yeah good morning. Thank How you. are you doing today? I'm fine. Good to um, have you on the show. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, the program is quite interesting. I love the topic of today. Thank, Thank you. you. And um, what, uh, like, like what is really happening is, you know, sometimes the family members do come in because of the worth of their birth. Yeah. Right. So, when you are legally married, you have to state it. That yes, everything that belongs to you is for your family, mm -hmm. and your wife, your wife and the kids, if any needs be, 
like for your kids if you have kids. So, but I wonder why people always troop in. Well, let's let's just assume. Maybe. Oh, sugar. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just go on. Got it. Okay. Yeah, probably. Yeah, let, let me just um, assume, say, I know what you want to say. You wonder why people, they always. It, it's just a layer. It's a layer of um, greed. Um, most times, even the people that have more than what that man has will still be part of the looting process. I think it's a culture of greed that we have. I'm but, Barista, saying... seriously, why is it that some men are actually scared of getting committed to illegal marriage? Because we've had cases. They don't like understand. That. That's why I'm saying that you should understand. I mean, many people have a wrong impression. And sometimes it's probably like what they also have done. And they think, because um, um, I don't know whether you are working for your siblings or you're working for your children. Your you know? So it's a matter of maybe understanding. Um, legitimately, Listen to me, every man and every man listen, uh, wait till they watch me. In the African culture, the woman is almost like part of the property of the man. Mm. Seriously. That's why in some cultures, if the man dies, mm. somebody else in the family can go and um, impregnate the woman mm. legitimately. And there's that for sake of perpetration of that lineage, more or less. So it's, it's something that your wife, if you say you love your wife, um, you're, you're, you are leaving your wife to the mercy of the culture, mm. the mercy of the people around when eventually things happen. You know, uh, because the reality is that as much as those property or the things, even for the woman, listen to me too, as much as those property make you feel good or mm. great, there's no single thing out of it you are taking away. Mm. Even if they bury you with the gold, <laughs> but, but it's not unlikely that grave robbers will come and dig yeah, it, dig that thing out and come and take that chain from your hand. So you have to understand that you are working more or less for the legacy that you are going to leave behind. And behind. So when it comes to this, the, the structure, you have to put in place. That's why uh, anybody who watch me now, you have to even ask whether in the first instance, is your marriage customary hmm. or is your marriage legal? Hmm. If you say it's a legal marriage, like that woman now, we say, we did white wedding. What is white wedding? Mm. White wedding and um, how do I put it? White wedding. Church, it could be and church wedding. Of course now. <laughs> of course. You know, white could be <coughs> church wedding. You know, more, more or less, you went to the village. You got the consent of your parents. They did the exchange of dowry. Mm. You got the, the wine to be carried. Mm. And Making paid and all those this things. And then after a while, you could went to your, probably went to your imam to bless you. Eh? Or... Okay, or probably you went to your pastor, and because you were, you were Christian, you wore white gown and everything. What has been blessed is actually a hmm. customary marriage. Juliet, good morning. Good morning, man. Hi. Good morning, good dear. Morning. How are you doing today? Mm. I'm fine. All right, please go I on with your question. Yeah, that's what I'll be too. I want to contribute because the same happened to my sister, my mother in law. Mm. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. Can you turn down? Can you help me turn down your volume, your TV volume? I'm fine. This same happened to my mother-in-law. Okay. Mm. It's very loud. Okay, please call us back. That was extremely loud. Yeah. Would I have loved to hear your experience, you know. Always, you know, so, so, you, so you, have, you have to understand, you have to understand this. Uh, as much as sentimentally, you know, as much as you are trying to, like, you are trying to, uh, this woman fake kill me, no, no woman, the kids with my husband, because, because of, property. of property and those things. Why can't your sibling kill you? Hmm. I mean, me? I mean, why, why can't they kill you if you're property? Hmm. See, it's only mercy and the grace of God. So there's nothing you want to say. Even if you do all the jazz, say you want to judge yourself up, at one point in time, it goes still go. Hmm. So that's why you have to be you have to be very careful about on the under understanding the legality of this thing. How you go stretch your view past your shallow uh, I want to mm. my 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 mm. my 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 mm. thing. Mm. You know, you have to look at it. Okay, <clears throat> I'm working now. I'm I, I have the joy of say I own a property now, I own two properties. and my old age, I'm able to fend by myself because of all these investments. I've raised my children. But you can't take them away. Mm, at all. And for some reason, some people are waiting. 
just counting your days for you. Patiently. Uh, waiting for you. Uh, it better be that you are able to... That's why when I have told you that the best way to actually do is probably to do a will or to try as much. Hey, Mukta. Mukta from Zanfara. Mukta. Hello, Mukta. Good morning. Mukta, good morning. Good, good morning, morning, sir. How are you morning. doing today? I'm doing fine. Thank All right, you. please go on. So this issue of uh, court marriage. Yes, sir. And normal marriage they do in such. Yeah. I don't understand it because when it comes to will sharing, Mm. The conflict that mostly happens within the um, family mm. and the um, the wife, per se, mm. that gets married. If it happens that the loss comes from the husband. Mm. So I don't know which one is advised to... Yeah, Mukta, Mukta, you see, it's very simple, really. Um, you see, by custom, particularly even, even among the Muslims, amongst the, you know, what have you, uh, local tribes, mm. You know, by custom. I mean, but I think I think in Isura there are some things that has to do with how you take care of um, widows. In Isura is there and whatever. But you know, most times the the even in amongst the Christian, there are some things in the Bible about how a widow should be taken care of and things like that. But most times the culture is overwhelming. So that's why, as much as possible, as a man, the best thing I would say in my own view is to do a legal marriage. And but mm. you see. Legal marriage does not permit more than one wife. Yeah. That's another, that's another downside in court. So if you say, I want to do a legal marriage, it means that you cannot, you take, yourself you cannot take the second wife according to that mm. custom mm. or according to that religious dictate. Mm. So that, is, that means the first wife is the only wife. The other wife are null and void. Mm. Are you getting me? So it becomes a challenge. But So when you have entered the realm of culture, really, the culture will be suffocating, will suffocate. So that's why you see that once you are like in that culture, people trooping um, on the say under the guise of saying that okay, the man married more than one wife, so we have to be equitable. We have to divide this thing equitable so that no wife is uh, cheated. Mm -hmm. Now there will be an alignment. Some people say that I'm supporting second wife, I'm supporting third wife. You know that kind of thing that all in the guise of trying to say we're helpful, mm -hmm. but eventually it's to muzzle out your children and your and what have you. So that's why. Particularly those of us who have young children, be very careful. And those of us who have adult children, you see, you can also rule out petty sibling rivalry, um, those kind of things that have been there, okay. mother of so this child saying that she's not giving, you know, all those kind of things. So it takes, it takes a lot of, um, they say, the grace of God for your first children, your eldest children, to be able to dispense justice to the other mm. ones uh, there. Okay. So, Mokta, that's why you have to be very careful about how is this property mm. uh, acquiring? How do I put it right in a mm. way that I will not leave pieces instead yeah. of legacy? Mm. Pieces instead of legacy. Uh, so you have to understand it very well. It's, it's not, um, because there's really, as much as you are striving now, all the cars, yeah. people are how looking at you and saying, Babao, mm. uh, Rankadede, uh, Igwe, Odogu, all those names are calling you. It ends when you are down on the ground, mm. on the ground. It ends. It ends. Probably the obituary they write about you. But because the reality is that worst things that make you the Udgui and the mm. Dogus and the Lankadeides and what have you, who will take them over? Mm. So, you know, so that's why you have to look at your marriage. Your marriage is a firm basis, you know, to know because you are, you are supposed to be responsible for your family. Yes. But yeah, how family. is that marriage put? How do you put oh, that oh. marriage? You Hello, know? sorry for cutting you. Yeah. Um, but can you hear me? Yes, can sir, hear we can. can. Okay, um, for instance, now you see, I'm a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a Muslim, we didn't uh, mostly do anything like um, we. We didn't mostly do that. Yeah. Simply because I, I am allowed to marry even more than one wife. That's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. You see, there will be a problem if I say, okay, I choose this one. Exactly. Or I choose this one. Exactly. To be my next of him. You and see, there's a problem. not to marry under the law. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mukta, you, you, you are making, you are, yeah. you are, you are seeing the points. Yes, yes. Because that, if one can even uh, notice that, and he can, he can, he can become yeah, it can become become a problem. Uh -huh. So we Muslim, I think what we mostly do. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, the, we uh, can. We can. Muslim, we just leave anything will is not allowed for us because sir? when we die, 
our 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 property are being shared mm. according to the um um sharia mm. according oh. to the, uh, yeah. the guide sura and everything and the guide yes mm. yes yes there's a way they used to share yeah. all yeah. Um, the property, which mm. there won't be any sentiment at all. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. But, okay. but Mukta, that, that, I, I yeah. hear it, but that's where those people who are sharing it are God fearing. Abi? Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. You see, that's where I'm going. They are no longer there. Because if, 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 because if the people that are sharing it have also vested interests, you can be sure oh, what yes, happens. Things, what happens to the property? Mm? So that's. Thank you. That's why, you see, I like uh, Mukta because the reality is like uh, some of us, it might be difficult for say because you want to marry my cause, but you have, you have to understand that um, under the cost, under the cost, under the culture, mm. you are the mercy of the culture, and your people are going to dispense the culture, the what have you. You are the mercy of whatever they do. Of course, not that you're mercy because you are gone by then, <laughs> and what have you, <laughs> but your children and your Everyone of that under your that you should not only be favored, I might be under the mercy. Now, but He's marrying under the culture. Yes, but you know because even you know by and I need to say this. I need to say this because it's a balancing act because the law also permits a woman to own the property under the law, mm. but most culture will not allow a woman to own a property. You know, um, if she's to own a property, does she have the right to own it under and yeah, 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 yeah. Because, well, no, no, because you see, the, the point remains that a woman is by reason of a fundamental human rights element mm -hmm. a person, okay, as it as a dignity, as a right to own property, mm -hmm. as a right to be to, to be heard, mm -hmm. as a right to speak, as mm -hmm. a right. So she she can own a property in the name, okay, you understand mm -hmm. me? But you see, that comes to the fact that. In many cultures, you don't even own property in your name. So even if you are the one that owned it, you have to go and put it in your chioma. Should be our last caller uh, for today. Chioma. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. All right, then. please go on with your question or contribution. Anyhow. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead, please go, go on. Okay. Mm. Now, I went to, I just tuned in to the TV and I saw your program. Okay. I'm doing fine. Mm. Now, my question is, uh, I was once married uh, to a man, both traditionally and legally. Mm. Okay. Now, the man left the marriage. He walked away mm. from the marriage and he, he has married another wife now without telling me, letting me know. Mm. And I have an issue, a, a girl with him. Now, since then, he hadn't been taking care of this girl. Mm. Yeah, because you see, the, uh, except except he has divorced you, yes, yes. and and he, and he couldn't have divorced you without you knowing that he yeah. had divorced you. If he had obtained a divorce, that means it's a fake divorce that he mm. obtained. So, as far as the law is concerned, both of you are still married. Mm. His subsequent marriage is a nullity mm. because the law says that you can only marry one wife and, and one man and one man, one wife within the tenure of that marriage. You couldn't have married somebody different under the custom and go ahead to go and marry somebody under the law. So, it's not possible that you have a wife in the village and you go and marry another wife in town under the law. The subsequent marriage under the law is null and void. As at the time when a man is married, he must not have had, or any of his spouses are married, they must not have had any marriage at all. Mm. And until that marriage is concluded or, 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 or ended, mm. you cannot marry subsequently any other person because other marriage will be null and void. Okay, uh, it's obvious that uh, Barista will definitely have to continue from here. We'll continue. We'll Next continue. week, Just Wednesday. Just call your friends. Let them come around. Yes, yeah, so... And one of you. Like we said, this is the best um, the show to... to to sponsor, yes. just just you see, on, market, so you many say. marketers, <laughs> so many so many viewers. <laughs> Thank God you bless. guys for watching. Thank Tomorrow you. is another day. Bye.